Welcome to CAD Tutorials, and in this video, I'll be doing practice problem 11.11. .11. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And if you like this video, just go ahead and give it a thumbs up. So given these two values, we are told that for a load, we have a VRMS of 110 with an angle of 85 degrees, as well as an IRMS with 0 0.4 and an angle of 15 degrees, and that is in amperes, of course. So the first part of the question is asking us to find the complex as well as the apparent power. So let's do that. The complex power is equal to VRMS multiplied by the conjugate of IRMS. So doing that, we're going to substitute our values and say 110, which is VRMS, and IRMS, the conjugate of that, would be negative. Just put a negative sign at the angle and put this into your calculator. And this should give you a value of 44 with an angle of 70 degrees in volts amperes. Now, changing this into rectangular form should give you a value of 15.05 plus 41.35. So you can just quickly transform your, your complex power into its rectangular form. And that will help you in the next section. So let's just put that for now. So now, at this very first part of the question, we also asked to find the apparent power. So these two have the same symbol, if you don't insist. But now, the apparent power, we are interested in the magnitude of these values. So basically I'm going to say 110 multiplied by 0 0.4. And the answer to that should be 44 volt amperes. And that is your apparent power. So I've now answer the first part of the question, which was asking for the complex as well as the apparent power. Let's proceed to answer the second part of the question, which is asking for the real and the reactive power. So now, if you go back to your complex power, you can see that we expressed it in this form, which is our rectangular form. And these parts form the real part and the imaginary part. Now, the real part of your complex power gives you your real or your average power. So now that this question is actually asking us for a real power, we're going to take that real part of the complex power, which is 15.05, and that is in watt. These are the units for real power. And the second part is asking for is asking for the reactive power, which is basically the imaginary part of that same thing, which is our complex power. And now we have 41.35 VAR, volt ampere reactive. That is the unit for our reactive power. So that is the second part of the question. You just have to take the real part of your complex power as well as the reactive part or the imaginary part of your complex power, and that will give you your reactive power. So this is the real power. And this is the reactive power. Moving on to the last section of this question, we are asked to find the power factor as well as the load impedance. So the power factor is given to us, uh, the formula for one of the formulas for a power factor is this. And this angle or this difference of angles is the same angle which is carried by the complex power. So you can just simply take this angle and substitute it or do the cosine of that angle. And the angle in this case is 70 degrees. It's positive, which, which is gonna tell us that this power factor is actually lagging which means that this angle is actually uh, smaller than this, and that is why we have a positive value. So the power factor after seeing the cosine of 70 degrees is 0 0.342, all right? Moving on to the very, very last section, we are asked to find the load impedance. That is quite simple. Just use this formula, and using this formula, Z is equal to V divided by R. We're given both values. You just substitute your VRMS and divide it by your IRMS, and you should get a load impedance of 94.06 plus J258.4 ohms. And that is how you basically solve this problem.